There are a lot of symbols and statistics. Most statistical techniques use the same general mathematical operations, notations, and basic math, arithmetic um, skills that you've already learned um, in algebra, pre-algebra, even calculus. So most of these symbols aren't going to be radically different than what you've already seen. We just rely heavily on symbols um, and statistics. So in this section, I'm just going to introduce you to a couple of the more specialized notations that we're going to use for the um, statistical calculations for the rest of the semester. But um, in later chapters, you're, you're going to get more and more symbols. We're just going to start off with four right now. So the first one is this E, kind of symbol looking here. And this is sum of. It just means add up um, whatever what I was previously um, talking about. Or in the if it's an equation, it'll say sum of x plus 2 or whatever it is. So you're just going to sum up um, after you add R to 2 to to all the different, you're going to add them up, you're going to sum them up. So we're going to use these raw scores over here. So our raw scores, so say I gave a pop quiz in my Psych 101 class, and um, there's only five questions, and we had one person who scored um, perfect, so they got um, five out of five, good job. And we had one person who scored um, two out of five, one person who scored three out of five, one person who scored four out of five, then one person um, who scored one out of five. So these are just the raw scores on, on quiz number one, pop quiz number one. Okay. Now, let's use these numbers, these raw scores here, and talk about the equations or the, the symbols over here. So if I said sum of x, Okay, x just being the raw score. You would just add up all all the raw scores, right? So you would add up five and two and three and um, four and one. So in this case, sum of um, x would be fifteen, or just adding up each one of these um, raw scores. So again, x is the raw score. So raw scores in this case would be. Well, we have a 5, and we have a 2, and we have a 3, and we have a 4, and we have a 1. So those are all raw scores. Now, n is the number of raw scores in a sample. Okay, And we talked about you know, the difference between a sample and a population. But uh, the number of raw scores in, in, a, in a sample would be n little n. right? So in this case, we have... Um, Five, right? We had one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, if we had five people take um, the the quiz. Now, n big N is number of raw scores. So same um, premise there, but in a in a population. So if I was uh, looking at, I don't know, I gave a small sample of people a pop quiz in all my psych 101 classes. And so I gave five in my Psych 101 for my 9 a.m. class, my 10 a.m. class. And, but if I add them all together, N, capital N, would be my number of raw scores in my entire population. So little n is um, raw scores in a sample, right? And then um, big N is my raw scores, number of raw scores in a population.